Hey YouTube, it's Brandon Red here with Ramen Noodle Budgets, and today I'm back with a really exciting video. Um, I've been looking forward to this forever. Now, if you've seen my last few videos, or probably like three videos ago, I actually did a review from Cosplay Sky of their General Hux cosplay. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description below, or I'll probably have it like right here. I actually got another costume from them, but this one I was so excited to get that I actually paid for it. So this is gonna be like pretty honest, like. I mean, I'm always on this when it comes to reviews, but this one I really, really wanted, so I have a lot of expectations for this. Now, as you, I'm not going to keep it a secret. It's the Crimes of Grindelwald Cosplay Sky costume for Newt's Commander. I'm super excited to unbox it and try it on for you guys. Now, I'm not going to be doing the wig and stuff. I have the wig, but it's not all set up yet, so we're just going to do this. Um, I've never ordered any uh, Harry Potter cosplay from Cosplay Sky. I've done Captain America, General Hux, um, Daredevil, a lot of... Uh, superhero-ish kind of costumes. Obviously, the outlier being General Hub. So I'm really excited to see what the quality is like on these jackets, so let's check it out. Uh. Ooh, when I see the shirt, guys, I don't know if it's gonna focus right. Look how nice that speckled shirt is. I'll do a whole bunch of up-close stuff later, but. It comes in a very nice bag. I, I expected this from Cosplay Sky. This is kind of how they ship stuff. Um, it was shipped via DHL, and that got delivered in two days from, um, where did this come from? Uh, Shanghai, which is unbelievable considering I have packages from USPS from like the same state that take like three days to arrive, so. That's impressive for DHL. And they know they sometimes ship UPS International, which also takes about the same time. So let's start off by looking at this shirt, because, whoo, I'll put that away for a sec. This shirt already, is impressing the hell out of me. Um, there haven't been many pretty accurate shirts. Oh, I want that focus. There we go. But this has a really, really nice speckled pattern. And it's made of kind of, has a little bit of a sheen to it, and it feels like a real, um, sorry, I'm trying to get my camera to focus here. It has a real sheen to it, and, or not sheen. It has a real shirt feel to it. It, um, it doesn't feel flimsy or fake. It feels like a really nice, legit, dress shirt, so already out of the bag, that's super, super nice. This piece that fell out here, I'm uh, assuming this is the piece that goes onto the vest. I will find that out later, the one that kind of attaches halfway down on the buttons. Wow, I didn't actually even know these came with it. Um, these are suspenders, which look pretty, actually pretty good for just being included in this set, so it's kind of wrapped up here. Wow, that's actually impressive for um, a cosplay site. They usually don't come with stuff like this. I'm pretty sure I just missed it. No, no, this is okay. Wow, um, I'm really excited to try this on. What's next? So it looks like we have a bow tie. It is a pre-tied bow tie. I don't know why that doesn't want to focus. No, focus on that. And it looks like it attaches with Velcro, so it's kind of like a, ooh. Okay, that's kind of huge. I just noticed that's huge. Um, that's pretty much an easy fix. Uh, I doubt I'll actually be using this. Um, but overall, I mean, it's not horrible. It's just like, not as accurate as I'd like. I actually haven't really seen any close-up photos of the bow tie yet, so I really don't know how accurate this is. But this thing is, this is huge. I wish it was kind of like an adjustable, bow tie, like a pre-tied adjustable one. Here I see the vest. So that's not that bad. I was a little worried about this. Um, I've had a lot of cosplay vests that come out looking super shoddy, but this one's not bad. The only thing is I definitely need to iron it out or throw it in the dryer on the steam setting because it's really wrinkled from the packaging. But that's not horrible. It's a little thin, I won't lie. Um, it's a little bit on the thinner side. It does have a nice kind of sheen, metallic gold on the inside. And I think the color is a little bit too orange to be 100% accurate, but I'm sure it looks fine with everything else on. Um, it has one, two, three, it has six buttons. I'm not sure how accurate that is. It's got a, so it's got three pockets along the jacket. And then it has like these adjuster pieces that you'd expect on a vest in the back. So. Not bad. 
I'm excited to try that on as well. Is this the main jacket? Because this is what I'm most excited for. This is the main jacket. I'll come back to this because that's going to be, that's the thing I'm most excited for. So here we have what I believe is like, I don't know the nerf, like the right term, the undercoat? The coat that he wears under the overcoat, which is super, super wrinkled. Um, honestly, so you know, it's not their fault. It's because of shipping and all that, but that's not bad either. It's really thin, which I for a second was worried about, but I realized um, wearing under these layers and it's 91 degrees out, I think I might appreciate that a little bit. Wow, okay, that's not bad. It's made of like a, I don't want to say wool. I feel like it's like a wool blend, like a polyester wool blend or something. So not bad. I have the matching pants. Those look a little big. So one thing is, so I ordered via um, their website, I got a standard size medium, which I've always had issues between small and medium, small being too small, medium being way too big. And um, I messaged them saying that I was ordering this costume for a review, so I'm wondering if they didn't do the medium sizing and they gave me free custom sizing. I guess we'll find out. Even with custom sizing sometimes, um, my weight is fluctuates so much, I'm already 17 pounds down from February, so. All right, it's time to check out the pride and joy that I was super excited for, so I'm really hoping this is good quality, guys. It is Newt's new overcoat, which, as you guys um, can tell, is gray. and. That's actually a pretty close, accurate color. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. So right off the bat, I'm surprised. They have accurate um, lining fabric. The lining is pretty close in color. Now I wanted to see, because I never ordered from them before, I don't think they do any wand pockets or anything. No, they don't. So I think I may try and, because it's already sewn, I probably hand sew a uh, a wand pocket because I have the Hot Topic original Fantastic Beast jacket and I love the wand pocket. I used it uh, for cosplay all the time. Wow. It's not bad. The fabric is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's see if I can get any close-ups of that. My camera wants to be an idiot and not focus. So it's kind of like a... I don't know the name for it. It's really similar to what they people use on um, Ray's resistance jacket. I don't know what they call that. I used to because I worked on it, but I totally forgot. All right, guys, I'm gonna try the entire set on now to see how everything fits and how it looks. So just a quick update while I'm putting this on. Um, I know I was just raving about how nice this t-shirt or this uh, dress shirt's quality is. One thing though is, as I'm unbuttoning it, one of the buttons has already popped off, and some of them feel pretty loose, as well as um. One of the buttonholes on the bottom actually hadn't even been opened with a seam ripper yet, so I just had to go and open and open that. So, a little bit iffy on the shirt so far. Um, it still looks incredible. Um, it looks really, really nice. I have to add the bow tie and everything, so I'll show you guys all that when everything else is on. I just wanted to update with that. So I wanted to show you guys I have um, the first basic principles of the costume on. I got the vest, the uh, shirt, and the pants. Now, the pants are a little loose because I was stupid and totally forgot that Newt's pants are incredibly high-waisted for um, this short vest here. So, there's that. But uh, so far, it looks pretty great. The fit is actually really not too bad. I might have to bring it in a little bit. Unfortunately, I put the tie on, and the way I did it, I just tied it in the back with a knot. And I literally just pulled on the tie a little bit to adjust it, and it ripped straight off this piece here. So I think what I'll have to do is just put a little bit of, or either glue it or just sew it back on. I know I have some um, fabric tack glue, which might be easier, but I could just run it through my machine really quick. So let's put the rest of the stuff on. All right guys, so I got the, um, the main overcoat on, or the under, what, I'm sorry, I don't know the correct term. I just noticed something extremely disappointing about the jacket. They sewed the collar on backwards. <laughs> I remember one of the main reasons I bought this set is because they did this incredible um, detailing with the leather, but they put it on the inside and not the outside. Now, I might just try and re-sew it on myself, but when it comes to sewing, um, I'm pretty shit. <laughs> Another issue I actually had is um, on the vest itself, the buttons weren't actually fully open just like the shirt was, and it seems like there's a, quite a few um, kind of small problems so far. 
This one kind of being really big to me. Um, I might contact them and see if I can get a new jacket replaced, but again, I might try and read. Well, yeah, here's the problem. They sandwiched it in between all these pieces, so. Ugh. All right, let me try putting everything else on and see how it looks. All right, everyone, so I kind of just wung it and took the collar off because it was driving me nuts. I haven't uh, fixed anything else yet. I'm going to try and learn how to fix a button. And I did, I remember, I did tell us how to fix a button in like 8th grade. I just have to rewatch a video, but um, I'm really hoping this turns out okay. I'm just going to try and flip it and sew it back in the exact same seam. So hopefully that comes out okay. So I just got done pinning everything down and I'm going to go quickly sew it over with a, I like this gunmetal-ish gray color, which I hope will blend pretty well. It took a lot longer than I expected because I actually had to also make sure that the fold of the lining was, you know, in where it was supposed to be. So we're going to sew this and I hope it doesn't come out looking crazy. Uh. All right. So it's actually day two of having this entire set. And um, as you'll see in the next few photos, I did quite a few adjustments to the entire outfit. Sorry, my camera is like half tilted. I just kind of threw it on the tripod just to finish this video up. Let me lift a little bit. But um, overall, I can say I'm quite a bit disappointed with the entire quality of the costume. Um, maybe it's because I'm spoiled because I've been uh, ordering a lot of stuff from like White Sheep Leather and their stuff has always been like top notch, out of the box, like gorgeous, perfect fitting. But um, I just, since I paid like over $200 on this, I was a little disappointed that like pieces that I had to re sew and I still don't think look that great because, like I said, my sewing's not amazing. And, um, buttons are falling off the pieces and the stitching just doesn't feel great and it's kind of disappointing because i've ordered like i said from cosplay sky before and never really had any major problems so i'm going to message them i'm going to link them to this video and hopefully you know i can get some answers or maybe like a replacement set or something or just like two replacement pieces but um as you can see in these photos i'm going to show next um the costume itself actually looks pretty good for the most part um some things that I would recommend if they ever do decide to change the costume. Um, the jacket is far too thin, um, and I understand it's good for um, when it's really hot out. But the problem is that it doesn't stand up correctly, or there isn't enough backing, like there isn't any... Um, as far as I could tell when I was re-sewing the uh, collar back on, there was no like uh, interfacing, like a solid interfacing that was holding the collar up. It kind of just had to hold up and then it just fall over, so. And there was a, one of the uh, lapel sides just kept like curling in. It looked really bad. But um, I gotta say though, the rest of the costume, like the shirt, pants, uh, vest, and not the bow tie. The bow tie keeps falling apart on me. I've sewn it together twice now. <laughs> um, those are great, actually, in my opinion, but not for $200, I, you know? So what I think I'm going to do is, uh, Hot Topic actually, I sent them a message a while ago because I bought their jacket before from the first film and I absolutely adore it. I wear it every single season. Um, they messaged them to see them if they had, I messaged them to see if they were going to be creating a new Crimes of Grindelwald jacket and I didn't expect any direct answer because you really can't tell people that, but they actually gave me a pretty solid answer saying that we are looking into creating a Crimes of Grindelwald, uh, Grindelwald jacket and to stay tuned. So that was like a pretty big in my opinion, yes, like it's coming out. So I'm really hoping by like early November we have a jacket. And I think that paired with this set could look pretty great. So that's my current plan unless another company comes out with a pretty solid replica of Newt's jacket. But here's gonna be a whole bunch of photos that I just took with this amazing camera and um, some close-up shots of the video, or of the, of the set. So here are those and yeah. 